everyone, Val here, and I am heading to Charlottesville for my doctor's appointment this morning, and I'm just noticing the leaves are changing. I mean, we have some red and, and some yellows in there, so the leaves are starting to turn. It is cold this morning. It's only about 42 degrees right now. It was in the 30s when I got up. Um, still early in the morning. So I have a 9 o'clock appointment. It's about an hour drive to get there. They like us there about 15 minutes early. Um, I have to have my lab work done after my appointment to check my A1Cs and other things. So It's an early morning. I think I'm going to try to stop on the way back through in Gordonsville to uh, to the Walmart there to see if I can find some sneakers uh, or hiking boots. My hiking boots, uh, I had to throw them away. They uh, have worn out and uh, I need another, either another pair of sneakers that I can wear or another pair of hiking boots. So. We don't have a lot of stores to choose from for shoes around here, so I'm going to just, since Walmart's on my way back home, I'm going to stop there and see what they might have. Uh, but this is what it's looking like this morning. The rest of the day I'm going to relax, maybe edit some video and do some work in the craft room, but I'm not going to do a whole lot of anything else but relax today. It's a pretty, fairly easy drive for 8.30 in the morning. A little bit of uh, work traffic going on, but not too bad. It's flowing pretty good. Charlottesville is a pretty drive because they have the mountains and everything. And I like to look at the mountains um, coming down through the Charlottesville area. So it's a pretty drive. And then in the fall, it's really pretty once the, the leaves start turning and all. But uh, I just avoid the city of Charlottesville as much as possible. Because, you know, I worked through there. You know, they had some accounts in Charlottesville when I was working. And I just not my favorite place. I'd much rather go to Richmond if I have to go anywhere than to go to Charlottesville. Fredericksburg is even better. I prefer Fredericksburg over either, but you have to do what you have to do. But I hear they're building a VA hospital in Fredericksburg, which will mean that'll be a whole lot closer than the, the VA hospital I go to if I need testing and stuff done. They'll do blood work up here at the clinic, but they won't do... Uh, they can't do mammograms or any of that kind of stuff. You have to go to the hospital. They say the new VA hospital in Charlottesville should be open next year. So I'm looking forward to that so I don't have to go all the way down to uh, Chesterfield, you know, lower, way down um, to the lower Richmond, part of Richmond. So, which is probably about an hour and a half drive from my house. Fredericksburg is about 45 minutes. It's so much better and so much easier to get there. All right, I am going to uh, let you know how things go with the doctor's appointment. Should be just a fairly routine once a year appointment. All right, I am home. Back in my craft room, I fixed myself some yogurt and bananas and berries for lunch. I'm going to eat this. I'm going to edit a couple videos. And then my mom and my sister should be coming online probably in about uh, 20 minutes or so. So I'll uh, catch up with them and do a little stitching or whatever after I'm finished with the videos. Doctor's appointment went well. They took blood to do my blood work. I'll find out the results of that probably in a week or something. But uh, talked about a lot of things. I talked with her about how I'd like to lose about eight more pounds, which she said that's fine, but she doesn't 
feel that it's necessary. She doesn't consider me to be overweight. Um, my weigh in yesterday was 188.4 or something, and I told her what my weigh in was. I have a very high bone density, which causes me to be a little heavier, and you know, for the scales, but not in appearance. I don't consider myself fat. I consider myself healthy, and I figure I can lose about eight pounds or so, and it probably wouldn't bother me. What she said is fine, but she said she wouldn't go lower than that from my body type um, because she said if I did get sick or something like that, I would have no weight to lose um, during a sickness. So I told her my main concern was staying this weight and then going on a cruise in the spring and gaining 10 more pounds because that seems to be what happens and then it doesn't come off after the cruise. It's, I'm fighting to get the weight off that I had before the cruise. So she does understand that there is a program with the military that's a, a fitness program that just more of a healthy eating program and she said I can uh, get with the nutritionalist more often if I want to also. Uh, she was going to give me paperwork on that, and we got to talk, and I think we both forgot. But um, I'm going to look into that also when I get back. I may wait till the spring because I think the VA hospital in Fredericksburg is opening in the spring, and if they offer that program, I might just do it there instead of... She said you can do it virtual, but it's like a nine-month waiting period to get into the virtual class. And then they uh, put you with a nutritionalist and you can get with them more often than once a year, whatever. I'm going to look into that, I think, just for staying healthy. But she says I stay active enough to probably not really concern myself with that. But uh, it's up to me, whatever I decide to do. She thinks my numbers will come back fine. Blood pressure is always fine. Um, cholesterol usually is always fine. Um, everything, all the, everything she, she tested, you know, blood pressure, pulse, you know, heartbeat, all that stuff is fine. Um, uh, and she thinks my numbers aren't going to change. So we will see when they come in in about a week, but I'm not, I'm not sweating it and she's not sweating it. So we're going to go on from there. I am still going to try to eat healthy and uh, try to keep the weight down because we do have another cruise in the spring and I want to be able to be comfortable diving. I don't want to be too heavy. Just do what I can do but uh, pretty good report. So I'm going to start editing some videos and finish my lunch and get up with my sisters this afternoon. Let's see what I can get accomplished. Dinner tonight is a pork roast. We have a barbecue sauce over here. I have some cantaloupe. I cook some beans in a pressure cooker with a uh, ham hock. Some ham that was left over from the ham I cut up yesterday from the hall, the uh, food lion hall. And then we're going to have mashed potatoes. So that's our dinner for tonight. Thank you all for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to. Leave a comment below. And remember, it's all about the adventure. I will see you tomorrow. Bye now.